evidence is key to what we do and what we should be doing. Alyssa, could you just explain the evidence behind the life course and what the current key thinking is? So we run several large national birth cohorts at UCL and they're studies that follow people from birth and across the whole of their lives and they really strongly show the value of taking a life course approach. So I think we almost take it as common knowledge now that adversities that are experienced young can have very long lasting effects, that there are cycles of both advantage and disadvantage that cascade across generations and also that there are interventions that we can do that can be particularly effective, especially early on in life, also in adolescence. So for example, supporting parents' mental health, um, supporting parents to provide rich home learning environments. Um, but they also show us as people get older that interventions later in life can be very effective. So steps taken, for example, for behavior change in midlife that can help improve your chances of a healthy older age, reducing stress at work, and um, once you finish work, perhaps things like social isolation step in, so interventions that can help protect people from those can be very, very effective.